about it, and I tuned it in the day he was on as a yeah. guest with my granddaughter, Emily. Uh-huh. You heard your son and granddaughter on the radio and thought... And normally I'm in church at this time, but this morning I wasn't able to get there, and so I had tuned you in, and I just wanted to call and say thank you for the Mother's Day greeting. Oh, Dorothy, so nice to hear your voice. Thank you. Fantastic. Happy Mother's Day, dear. Thank you, All right. and good luck with the show. Thanks Tell a lot. Kelly, hi. I will, dear. Send Thanks. Love. Ah, look how nice that is, folks. See, see, see how nice the world can be sometimes when there's super nice people like that in the world. Dorothy Costantine. <clears throat> Calling in on the show. Hey, uh, th- we uh, try to run a little segment here called uh, Cripes. Come on, you got to be kidding me. And it's this uh, little segment that, uh, that we do where we try to describe the fact that sometimes the world is made up in ways that we're not happy with it. Sometimes uh, there's things that go on in the world that make us say, ah, cripes. And come on, I'll tell you what, uh, you, know, you know, for Dorothy and for my mom, uh, raising me and the boys that grew up in that apartment complex, they were full of nothing but day after day of having to say things like, cripes, come on, you got to be kidding me. I mean, we, uh, we, made, uh, we made things a little tough on those, those good women on more than one occasion. Um, so, okay, so I got my cripes, my come on, my you got to be kidding me. Is it about uh, mis- mishandling uh, well, of the phone Well, it is now, it is now. If you were to look at my sheet, if you were to look at my prep sheet on what I put together for the show, and if, if you want to watch a. this over there at DougPadgetRadio.com, you're welcome to see the whole show happening. Uh, I, I basically should earn the cripes that come on and you got to be kidding me by the fact that at this very moment, I don't know where my iPhone is. And, and I had it hours ago. I talked to my own mother on that phone hours ago. And now I don't know where it is. Well, someone's using your apps, Doug. I should be checking my Facebook status right now because I think it's set up to auto-load. Uh, so, okay, look, if you got the thing and you figured out how to listen to my show, just just, just do me in. Do, do me right now. I mean, just, just lay it on me so I never, ever let this happen again. That a guy loses his phone. It's, I mean, you know, I, I get on my own family members and friends when they forget to bring their phone with them somewhere. And now here I am. Sitting in my own hypocrisy. With no phone, just like the good old days, doing a radio show. With no phone. Uh, I feel naked. So I earned the come on today. I mean, seriously. You know, that's the other one. That's how you ratchet it up in my world, the seriously. It comes from Rachel Swan. She's, she's, the, uh, she's, she's added a fourth dimension with the seriously line. Okay, so here's my cripes today, and I'm hoping it doesn't take my full five minutes to give you the story, but here it is. And, and I mean, I, I unloaded a cripes right in the middle of the Best Buy in Washington, D.C. Here's what happened. I wanted to have the, I, the iPad 3G, and I know people are like, look, white wine boy, I don't need to hear you complaining about having your 3G <laughs> iPad. But anyway, it's what I do for my business, so I run this business. Anyway, so I wanted to have the 3G. After I would bought the, the, the Wi-Fi version of the iPad, I wanted the one that could be connected to the Internet all the time through a phone-like connection, right? The 3G. So I'm in the Best Buy, and this is two weeks before the 3Gs are going to be available. And I was looking for something else, and I said to somebody, man, I, you know, working there, man, I would love to, you know, I, I, I can't wait, wait any longer for this thing. It's just, you know, it's killing me, ah, this kind of thing. And he said, well, you know what, we have, a, we have a, a, a no-fee return policy here at Best Buy. You buy the iPad, you can return it within 14 days, no restocking fee, no cost to you at all. And I said, are you sure? Are you, are you positive? Because I know over there at the Apple store, they charge you a 10%, and the guy says, nope, no restocking fee here at Best Buy. So I have the manager come over, whose name turns out to be Jesus, and I had misremembered it as Jose, and that's going to become important in a minute. So Jesus comes over, who I thought his name was Jose. Jesus comes over, and he confirms while he's handing me the iPad they got out of a locked case, no restocking fee. So then I said to the returns woman, with three of the employees standing there together, you're telling me that I can come back in 14 days, I can bring this to you, I can give it to you, and you're going to give me all of my money back so that I can buy the 3G. No restocking fee. Yep, yep, yep. Great deal. Let's do it. So we do it. I said, but here's my problem. On the 14th day, I'm going to be in Washington, D.C. And they said, that's no problem. You can return it to any Best Buy in the country. Really? I can walk in any, just have your receipt, makes it easier, any Best Buy. I'm in Washington, D.C., and the 14th day, I walk into the store 184 and there in Washington, D.C., and the fact that I know that tells you something went wrong. So I walk into the store, and I go up to the, the people there at the return place, and I said, I'd like to return my iPad. And the guy said, oh, that's fine. There's just going to be a 15% restocking fee. Ding. And I said, cripes. you got to be kidding me. Come on. No, I said, no, no, I talked to these people over there. So he goes and gets the manager, and the manager comes over, the customer service manager, and this guy is giving me vinegar from the start. 
He says, what can I help you with? I said, well, I need to return the iPad. And he's telling me, he said, there's a restocking fee. It's a corporate policy. These count as a laptop. It says on the back of the receipt, there's a 15% restocking fee on laptops. I said, well, it doesn't say that it's an iPod. An iPad actually isn't a laptop. And, nah, blah, blah, blah. and then he said, so we're back and forth. And, and, and I said, look, the people over at this Best Buy store on my receipt in Edina, they told me there's no, and he said, well, I don't know uh, why they gave you wrong information. That's a, that's a you know, dancey kind of answer. I don't know why they gave you wrong information. So I said, I don't know either why they gave me wrong information, but they told me explicitly. And then I said to him, look, I, I, it's not about the $75 here at this point, right? It's like, that's what they told me. And he said, oh, it's not about the money, huh? So he gets snippy. And I said, I know you can do that. I know you can exchange this for me. You can return this for me without a, without a fee. He said, yeah, I can, but I'm not going to. In fact, I could give you a free iPad, but I'm not going to do that either. So now, I mean, now I'm just, you know, I'm trying to be patient, right? So he decides that he's going to call to the store. I convinced him to call, and I said, the guy's name was Jose the manager. So he looks up in the computer. He's tappy, tap, 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 tap all over the screen. He says, there's no Jose that works there. I said, oh, ah. He said, there's a Jesus, but he works in cameras or something. I said, oh, that, that was the name, Jesus. That's where I got it wrong. So now he thinks I'm totally scamming him. He calls. He's on the phone, and he says, yeah, this is uh, blah, blah, from store 184, and I'm uh, just calling to confirm what, your, what you tell customers your return policy is on iPads. And then it's a little pause, and I hear him say, you don't have a, a restocking fee on, on iPads? Well, you, you clearly know that the corporate policy, POI, says that blah, and he says, but not at your store? Well, what makes your store so special? And then he says, not, not in anywhere in the district? Your whole district is different? So the guy hangs up with him, and he says, okay, I guess there's no restocking fee in that store. And I'm like, cripes. So I say to the fella, you know, if you'd started out with not assuming that I was lying to you and just called the store, and he said, oh, I, I believed it was possible. That's why I called the store. I'm like, no, you didn't. You called the store because you wanted to show that there was a restocking fee. And I said, and you know why there might not be a restocking fee? Because the national headquarters is four blocks from this store. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Palio. So then I'm standing there as smug as can be, trying to wipe the smirk off my face. And then I said to myself, oh, cripes, get over yourself. So I actually earned the cripes on that one. So did he. We double cripes it. Doug Padger Radio, religious radio that's not quite right. And AM 950. Talk to you with Stanley Hauerwas here after the break.